Now, to you who believe, the angel of God who has been sent to me to help you to believe Jesus Christ is not two foot from where I'm standing right now. If you believe me to be his servant, you'll take my word. I can't make you believe it. You only have to say, but he's here now at the platform. Now the Lord bless you while I talk to the woman. Everyone be in prayer. These are sick people. Now if this lady says that she is a stranger to me, I've never seen her in my life, no way at all of knowing her any way at all. Now I could not heal her no more than I could save her. And you know I couldn't do that. But Jesus Christ has already did all of that when he died at Calvary, but he sent gifts into his church. Is that right? If it is, say amen. amen. And the gifts are to what? Edify the church. Is that right? In other words, to see believers, unbelievers come in and say, truly, the Bible said, if you all speak with tongues and there come in the unbelievers, well, they'll say you're mad. But if there be one prophesy and reveal the secrets of the heart, then won't that unbeliever fall down and say, truly, God is with you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. That's exactly right. All right, you believe now with all your heart that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is here now to perform and to do the things that he promised he would do. Lady, I just want to talk to you. As And the, the reason I'm doing this is to contact your spirit. Will you believe with all your heart? And if God will just reveal to me what is wrong with you, will you accept him as your healer? You would. Now, we are strangers, I suppose, are we? Never seen each other in life, nowhere. But God knows what's wrong with you, isn't that right? You're one of your greatest things. You're anemic also. Isn't that right? You believe that God will make you well? Lord Jesus, I pray that you will heal the woman. Make her well, Father. May she go from here tonight and be made completely whole. In Jesus Christ's name I ask it. Amen. Now, go re re rejoicing. Pray. Now, that's according to your faith, sister. See, he never told me one thing, just said what was wrong with you. Watch what he said, see. What he tells you, that you do. Now, that's totally up to you, see. You believe it. You said you'd accept it. Now, he took it your word. You take him at his word. Go testify the same. You'll get wet. Amen. Let's say, thanks be to God. Amen. I trust that God is blessing you all out there now to where you can't disbelieve any longer. It would be a, a, a sin for you to disbelieve now. After God has sent his son and has performed this thing that he speaks of now, and has done all these signs, and you have sent his Bible, sent his preachers, sent his gifts, and you still disbelieve him, there's nothing left for you but to be condemned at the end. Is that right? But the only thing this is to do is to glorify God and to reveal Jesus Christ. That when he was here on earth, he did this very same thing. All Bible readers believe that, say amen. And he said, when I go away, and I'll come again a little while, and the world will see me no more. That's the unbelievers. But ye shall see me, who? The believers. For I'll be with you, even in you, to the end of the world. Is that true? Then it's sin to disbelieve. Go ye and sin no more, or disbelieve no more, or a worse thing than this will come upon you, said Jesus. Is that true? Then we must believe. It's got to be a belief or perish. If I was God, if they could take my word for it, that would settle it. But people still don't take the word, then signs and wonders are added into the church as Jesus Christ promised to do. And to my honest belief, I believe he's finishing up right now with the Gentiles and we'll turn to the Jews right away. And the Gentiles will be left in their dogmas and the things that they've got in their creeds and cold formal denominations and the church will be raptured and tucked up and the gospel will go to the Jews. Amen. Amen means so be it. All right. Excuse me, sister. I have to relax my mind once in a while. Now we are be strangers. I see that you are strictly a stranger to me. You're from away from here. You come from another city. 
You've got a lot of trouble on your heart. You got hard trouble to begin with. Is that right? There's a whole lot of blackness. I see a black sheep keep following you like that. Or oh, it's a lie. Somebody's told a lie on you. And that was a man was professing divine healing. He said you was a witch. Is that true? And it, you've got a whole stir in your church or something other about it. Isn't that right? Your pastor's sick right now. He's got polio. Is that right? Sister, don't pay no attention to what them people tell you. They're lying. And the only thing's wrong with your heart is that nervous condition got your heart worked up. Go on home in peace, and God bless you. You're all right. God bless you. You're not a witch. You believe with all your heart? Believe God will heal you as I keep it. Believe you make you well without asking. Lord Jesus, I pray that you'll heal the woman and may she get completely whole. I ask this blessing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Go on your road rejoicing, saying, thank you, Lord, and you'll get well. Come, lady. Almighty God, author of life, give this woman her perfect health in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. God bless you. Just a minute. Something happened to you. You know that. You're aware of that. Is that right? Why, it's all over the building. And every person here could be healed right now if you'd believe it. You believe this? Have faith in God. Are you one of the ushers, sir? All right, sir. That lady sitting right there, she's got heart trouble, that speckled dress on. Stand up, lady, he just healed you, then had that heart trouble. You believe that with all your heart? All right. There sits a lady there with her handkerchief up crying. Just had a lick on the head the other day. She's got a headache, it's calling it. Is that right? Stand up and accept your healing in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. How many of the rest of you want to accept your healing? Jesus Christ is right here now to heal you. Do you believe that? All it wants to be healed, stand to your feet right now. Every person in the building that wants to be healed, stand to your feet. Raise up your hands like this to God. Almighty God, the author of life, the giver of every good gift. As our spirit is here tonight, I pray that you will heal every person in this building. Thou art here. The Holy Spirit is here. And I now, as your servant, along with these other servants, curse every disease that's in here. May the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, heal every person in here. Satan, leave these people in Jesus Christ's name. Now that the people have got their hands up, say praise God and go to rejoice. Praise God. Giving God. All right.